for my presentation i have come up with a small thing here which is uh, scripted rest apis so people are generally confused or you know bit scary about uh, apis and when it comes to scripted rest apis it seems like uh, it is something which is uh, you know very complex or something like that so just wanted to share that scripted rest apis are more powerful and yet very simple and you know uh, you can mold it in any way you want so it has so much flexibility in it okay so you see the difference here i will show you some examples as well okay so very easy to use though it requires some scripting but you all are aware of scripting right whatever script you want to write whatever output you want to achieve you will get it from scripted rest api but you will not get it from the standard rest apis which are there in the tables in standard uh, rest apis i will show you that it is very rigid okay whatever you do whatever response you get that response is always like in the same format you will not change it according to your requirement so this is the main flow with uh, this uh, standard rest api that i will show you here even though this is the simple example okay what i am doing here in this i am using query parameter which is known as sysparam query okay so you can say we can write query in uh, standard api as well but that is very limited okay you can have simple filtering that's of only but rest you have to do in the scripted rest api so let me show you first uh, this one which is uh, simple rest api okay then i have a straightforward very good example for scripted rest api as well i floating controls okay so i am testing this rest api using this uh, you know uh, postman this is the best tool to test all your you know all your customizations with respect to integration okay so here i am using this simple uh, url this is what this is a simple url you see the sysparam query here this is the query which we are using state is equal to two assignment root name is software and simply how to get a standard name of a particular api for a particular table you see like this just after the instance name use this api now table then name of the table and then you can use the par the parameters which are available here okay there are few more parameters you can easily get these parameters uh, when you configure your uh, api okay so now what i will do i will do a test here click on send you see i got the response as user not authenticated because i have not added some authorization here because it says it is sending request to this instance and we have no value for authentication so let's authenticate so let me provide some authentication i have some uh, values here so this is the user credentials i am using now send you will see the response response is always like this in this json format okay suppose i want to do some more customization like i want to get the count okay suppose i am an itsm manager and i want uh, to get the count of incidents which are assigned to my team how i can do that okay it is not possible in this maybe possible but quite complex but we can achieve that by a simple writing a query using scripted web services so now let me show you one example of scripted rest api so here you go under scripted rest apis so i have this one service now pe charcha demo incident you just need to provide name and api id okay rest all things you will get automatically here you can provide security all these are basic things you need not to do much more here if you want to provide any documentation for this api you can provide okay at the bottom you see there is one resource and this is the resource which i have created let me open this resource and this is a get method it means i want to fetch some information from the system which system 
this system dev 284 288594 okay and this is how i created it i provided the name here uses the get method and at the bottom you can see i have written a simple code this is the main thing here rest all things can easily be created okay out of the box all things are here but the main thing is this query which i think which people think it's uh, very complex but you see this is a simple query it totally depends on your requirement what you want to achieve from your rest api if it is not possible or if it is complex using the standard one just come to this one okay let me increase its size it's not happening okay So here you see a simple logic I have written under try catch block. What I am doing, I am counting and providing the number of in progress incident assigned to that user. Okay, I'm just providing this detail, but this is not possible in your standard APIs. Very simple script, totally based on the requirement. So I think I do not need to explain this script here. Very basic glide aggregate script. <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So what it is doing, it is just returning the string, having the display name of the user with the count of the incident, right? So now let me test it with some of the users. So now here, click on new. Here I will provide my URL. What URL? The URL which we are getting from here, this one, I just need to add my, you know, instance name here. So just like this. Okay. So now we need to click on send. Again, we made some issue here because it's not authorized. We have to provide some authorization. So same authorization. It is, uh, you know, some cache. Okay, so same authorization we are applying, same user. So now click on send. You will see the simple result. How beautifully it is calculating. Okay, the number of pro in progress incident assigned to user Fred Ludi is three. So now if I go to instance, let's go to incidents. Fred is assigned to find Fred Ludi. This is Fred, show matching. You see here three, right? We can check with other users as well. Okay, let I have one more user for you. That is uh, Beth. Password is same for both. It is five now. If we come here, show matching for Beth, you see the number here. So. The trick is not in the query, right? Query is very simple. The trick is how we mold the requirement so that we get what we are achieving for, what we are uh, looking for. So this is what uh, the dynamic thing regarding to scripted REST APIs. It has so much power and it will make your life very easy. Okay, you need not to make uh, much more complex changes. Just you need to focus on your query. And nowadays, writing query is not a big deal, right? You have n number of options. Even you can go to chat GPT or in one service now has provided uh, code assistance, right? So I hope uh, uh, this is done for my requirement. If you have question, please tell me.